guys, I was sent some hair from Lavy Hair, which is a deep wave lace frontal wig, 130% density, lace frontal, honey. Lace frontal. So they were sent over a clip pen that goes in your head that says heaven. Nice little rhinestone one. And let's go ahead on and pull this wig. Of course, you get the wig. This right here is a lace frontal wig, 100% human hair, medium brown lace, also slightly bleached. Look at these curls in this. What? Look at the curls in this wig right here. This is your lace frontal right here. It goes ear to ear. Just looking at that lace, y'all. So, you know, of course, it comes with the combs in the front. You have a comb in the back. Also, you have adjustable straps. Y'all, we're going to bleach this hair. We're going to bleach the knots. It's slightly bleached, but we're going to bleach the knots with the BW2 bleach. And we also have the 40 volume peroxide developer so what we're going to do is that we're going to just go ahead on and just mix this up into a nice little paste not runny or anything like that and you can see i didn't put enough bleach in there enough peroxide in there so we just going to mix it on up honey mix it on up until we get it right stir girl blend girl mix girl Mix that up because we about to slay, honey. We are about to slay this Brazilian wig. Nice. Oh, we need a little bit more. Just, just mix until you get your right consistency, which should be like of a paste, where though it don't come off the comb, honey. You see? We're, yeah, we go. We ready. We ready. Let's go ahead on and bleach these knots, baby. Make sure when you bleach in your knots, don't get any hair that's in the way. If it's in the way, move it out the way. Make sure that you get that front. Or if you don't get anything else, get that front part. Make sure that you just, you know. Yeah, I'm looking through right now to make sure that I'm not taking it to the hair because I do not want no bleached hair on top. I just want to bleach those knots. And I'm actually going to leave this bleach on for about 35 to 40 minutes. Time to rinse, baby. Let's go ahead on and rinse this out. So what I'm going to be using, honey, is I'm using cool water and I'm actually using shimmering lights, shampoo, and I'm also going to be using my, I'm going to be using coconut milk from Equate, which that I'm going to co-wash the wig. This hair is so silky and so nice. Oh, girl, you are making a mess over there. But girl, we about to get this wig right. Make sure you brush it. Make sure you brush. Get those tangles out. Define those curls back in. Look at that. Girl, we slaying already. Boom. Boom. Do you see that? Boom. You can't tell me that ain't a natural scalp right there. What? That's nice. That's tight. Okay, girl, come on now. So what I did was we're going to pluck it off camera. Okay, y'all, we got to use that straightening comb because we got to straighten that out, right? We got to make sure it's straightened. I went on and used some um, She Is Bomb wax stick to go ahead on and to slick it back so I could be able to just, you know, Get that frontal right. You got to prepare your frontal, y'all. That way you can be able to um, apply your lace because you can't put no lace down there if you have that frontal all to the side, all the hair to the, towards the front and all to the side. You got to slick that thing back, honey, and straighten them, straighten them edges out. Y'all, I'm not good with voiceovers, but I'm trying. Girl, slick it back, slick it back. Okay, you gotta wipe that forehead with that 70 or 90% isopropyl alcohol. 
Then I'm gonna go ahead on and use my Escher primer. You gotta prime that skin. I'm learning y'all, you gotta prime that skin because your grip holds better when you prime it. Then I'm using Ghost Bond Supreme and I'm gonna do actually three layers of this across that forehead, honey. I was gonna use a stocking cap, but I sweat so much so I don't want I don't wanna use that stocking cap, honey. We're going natural this time. And I'm like I said, I'm applying, I'm gonna apply three layers and I'm doing it thin enough where it's though, you know, it's just not so big and bulky and it'll stick right. Y'all, I'm happy about this install. Okay, it's time to lay her down. Let's lay her down, honey, lay her down. Okay, so I need to go ahead on and to melt that lace glue in, honey. Just aggravating the hairline a little bit so it can stick down. Blow drying time. So what I'm gonna do is put it on heat first, just so I can melt that, just so I can melt that lace further inside the scalp. Aggravating it some more with the back of the comb. Pushing that lace in that scalp real good. Or in that, um, on my forehead real good. Not in my scalp, y'all, but y'all know. Put it on heat first. Now I'm about to go ahead and put it on cool because heat, I wanted to melt the lace more. But heat, I mean, cool air now is going to go ahead on and just make it stay right there. Stay put, don't move, don't move. I said don't move. Time to go ahead on and take my elastic band. Go ahead on and melt that lace in further. Tie it down. I tied it down for actually about 10 minutes. Make sure it's over my ear. Okay, y'all. So we done went on and took the elastic band off. I thought I had a clip for that anyway. So we're gonna go ahead on it. We made our part. We're gonna go ahead on and take our shears bomb. That way we can slick it down. But honey, this lace ain't going nowhere. This thing is in there. So I see in my scalp where my part at is that I did went on and over bleached right there. But honey, don't worry about it. It's still gonna look nice. It's gonna look real good. She doing a side part too. <laughs> yes. Get it right, girl. Get it right. Okay, sectioning out some hair for my baby hair. I use a uh, black Jamaican oil for my scalp so I can see where some of the cast from that is trying to interfere with my lace meltdown girl but guess what it's not even going to succeed honey I can get rid of that white cast y'all about to see it so I'm using my BTZ frozen stiff it's a holding spray honey and this thing will lay that lace down so what I'm going to do is just go ahead on and spray it on my um, edges before I do my baby hairs. Honey, that's, that melts it. I'm talking about melt, melt, honey. It makes it look like it's growing from out of your scalp. So I'm placing the baby hair down. And like I said, I use the BTZ Beyond the Zone holding spray. And we're gonna go ahead on it. We're gonna use that elastic band, honey. And we just gonna melt it down some more. And I left that on for about 10 minutes as well. Okay, y'all. I didn't even take it off for y'all. Okay, let's go ahead and do the baby hairs. So I'm using Elasta QP Olive Oil and Mango Butter Design Foam and Mousse Honey to go ahead on and get these baby hairs right because I don't want it to be hard baby hairs. I want some nice soft baby hairs. 
them sides right, girl. And if you can see on that side, I have a little cast right there where I'm picking that little cast from my Jamaican black castor oil that I put in my scalp to moisturize my scalp. But it's okay because y'all about to see, I'm about to fix this thing right here. So we got some big baby hairs going on. I wanted some nice big baby hairs, not too shy. I'm finessing these baby hairs some more. Girl, you looking serious. You look like you mastering that thing. You looking serious. Girl, go ahead, Jay. After I do that, I'm going to go ahead on and I'm going to tie it down again. This time, I'm going to tie it down with some Sandex strips, baby. About four or five of them. I'm going to leave that on for 20 minutes. Hey, whoa, there she go. Go ahead, girl. Look at that sleigh. Look at that meltdown. Look at that naturality. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, baby. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead on and wet this wet this hair down with a nice little spray bottle. I got this spray bottle from um Sally's actually. All the products you see right here I got from Sally's. And honey, watch how these curls just pop back in, honey. So I'm going in also with my um the mousse. That's the noodle head, baby. That is noodle head, honey. This noodle head's gonna get you right. It's by BTZ Beyond the Zone. It tames them curls, honey. It gives you a nice firm hold, plus it smells amazing, okay? Amazing. Look at those curls popping in. What? Girl, get your life on what? And once you, I've learned, once you put them in, they in, honey. They are in. Yes, boo. Make sure you saturate those ends. Those ends got to get it. every piece of hair, honey, that you have, it has to get in there. So make sure you comb it. Nice little brush to go ahead on and um, get those curls sure popping in there. So what I'm doing right here is just putting more mousse on the ends because, girl, we can't have something looking shiny on one side and then it's just as dull and not even curly at the tip. So get it all. Make sure you get it all. And look, mm, girl. She is bomb. She slayed. You hear me? Look. Whoa. Behind the ear thing. She slayed. She slayed. I'm telling you, I got so many compliments in this hair, baby. She's happy now. Look. Mm. Girl, go ahead. So y'all already know this is a finished look. And I want you to know. J-Baby says, be blessed and not stressed.